Hi and welcome, it's Peg, and today I am working on a project for Gina B. Aaron's design team. So, uh, recently I got in a package in the mail from one of my other design team members. That would be Vicki Brown of Messy Table Studio. This is just a uh, photo frame because what we're supposed to be working on is this 5 by 7 piece. I don't know if I'll use this or not. This is a dollar store item. Anybody can have it, but... Um, what I got were these um, two watercolors that she did months ago, she says. I wasn't sure what to send. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I love these. These are cool. Not sure which one I'm going to use or how I'm going to use it, but yeah, that's what she sent me to use in the design team project. Um... And what we're supposed to do is do a 5 by 7 fix my piece piece. Okay. So, those are really nice. But, in addition to that, I had placed an order on her Etsy store. So, she had it all wrapped up in this nice package with these pretty papers. And I want to show you what she does. Um, this is one of her little journals. These are like... Uh, I think that's maybe four, four and a half by four. She's got her own handmade, hand carved stamp on here, which I love. And then these papers in here are luscious. They're um, coffee stain dyed papers. So I'm going to enjoy working with this. And I might, and she's got a pocket in the back with some more of the papers so that I could put a, you know, this, this is what this is about and who I got it from kind of thing in there. And in addition to that, as a thank you gift, she sends this packet. And it has her card in it, I'm sure. How do I get into this? This way. <laughs> get into it. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I know this is supposed to be about Gina, but hey, I got this in from my buddy. And look at this cute little journal. Look at this little bitty mini journal. Isn't this adorable? This is my thank you for having ordered, placed an order. I love it. Absolutely love it. So, and then here's Vicky's card. Messy Table Studio. Very cool. So, it's got all of her uh, Etsy store information, Etsy Table Studio. So, if you're interested in any of that stuff, go check her out. And Gina's Etsy store. Go check that out because that's what we're here about today. So, let me get this out of the way. And take a look at this other stuff and figure out where I'm headed with this. Now, this piece in here here not so sure about let me get some stamps and things and okay so remember that frame that I had well I found out that if I cut that watercolor paper in half I have two pieces that are approximately five by seven there's you know maybe a quarter of an inch missing at the top but I think it'll fit the frame okay and if not you know I'll just put a mat around it so that created these two pieces and I'm not sure which one I want to work on. I like the colors on this, but I think most of it might end up getting covered. Because what I did is I went through and I looked at, you know, I've got a lot of stamps and stencils from Gina. You know, these are my packets of things. And I think I might pull a couple of these stamp sets aside and maybe use them. I've got a lot of my stencils here, but let me set that all aside and get this out of the way so it's not glaring at you. And let me look at this. If I use, I really like this stencil. It's a stencil and a mask. Um, and I'm thinking, because this is all about our tribe, our you know, creative tribe. I'm, I might want to put these gals on here. 
Now, in order to keep them from sliding all over the place, I think I'm just going to put some, I think I've got some repositionable stuff here somewhere. Where's my, here we go. My easy stick stuff. Oh, this says permanent. <laughs> well, you might know it. Um, all right, let me grab that. Okay, this one says removable tape, and that's what I'm looking for. So I want to I want to put a little bit of that on the back of my stencil just to hold it in place while I'm working. And position my ladies on here thusly. Okay, let's see if I can get this in here a little bit closer for you. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm going to take some gesso. And you see I keep my gesso in these jars. It just makes it easier for me to get into it. Of course, when you stick your finger in it, it doesn't make it any easier. But what I want to do is just get a little bit of that gesso out on my mat, like so. And I think I will use a, I think I'll use a sponge tool and just pick some of that gesso up. Start going around my mask with that gesso. Don't want too much, you know, work it into your sponge. Don't want too much on there. Just get it worked right in. Make sure you clean off your edges a little bit. This might take more than one coat. I still want to be able to see the underlying layers, but I also want a definitive line between the background and the masked area. Tape is doing a good job of holding my mask down. So I'm not getting into too much trouble with that. Oh, and whatever yellow she used, yeah, it's moving. So you can see it's picking up here. So I know I don't want to go back over that purple with that because that will make mud. So I'm going to clean my sponge. And I think I'm also going to clean that off of my mat and just go to some regular craft paint now.
This is some um, uh, Americana from Deco Art. It's just called uh, Whitewash, which is what I want to do here. So I put a little of that out. Work that into my sponge. Still got a little bit of that yellow. Let me dry that quickly. take long, but I don't want to keep moving that yellow around, so what I want to do is get a halo around my images here. And that's working pretty well. I'm going to leave some of this over here that you can see through. A little bit more. Okay, so let me hit that with a heat tool. Get my Rusty rag out here. I want to wipe the paint up. So I don't want that in my way. Okay. Let's dry that off. So now I need stamps, right? I need stamps. So let's pull these out. Because I want words to start with. And Block, don't I? Yes, I do. Pull out an acrylic block. Try to line this up a little bit so it's going the way I want it to, and then I'll get a stamp pad. that up really well. Alright, that's one, always. That's 
see. This one is treasure, I believe. treasure. Next one is life. These are Gina's own handwriting, which is always fun to have your friends handwriting on your art, right? So, shall we take a peek and see what it looks like now? Take our ladies up. Like so. And you see the, the glue is on the back here. And all you have to do is take your finger and rub it. And that stuff will peel back off of there. So now you see we have this. I need the other half of my set wherever I put it. There it is. Because now we're going to use this portion. And same thing once again. I don't want this moving all over. So I'm just going to take that tape. Put a couple of swipes down on here. My removable adhesive. Line this up as best I can. Like so. Oh, should have done a little bit. A little bit on that too, I think. Yeah. All right, move it all over. Just turn it over and do it right. Okay, so now we've got that down. I'm going to grab a pen. A liner pen of some sort. What do I want to use? Let's just use a... Here I've got a... No, it's a brush one. I want a line. Here's a Food Ball 1.5. This might be a little bit big, but we're going to go for it. So I'm just going to follow the design with that pen and create my border. On my image, following the stencil, This is a fun thing for kids to do too. They can follow the curvature of a stencil. And they all love to rubber stamp. How do I know? My grandkids come and stamp with me. They like it. They like to come to Nana's studio and Nana, can we go downstairs and see what you got? 
Yeah, come on, kiddos. Let's go make art. What better thing to stir the imagination of a child, right? Or anyone for that matter. Okay, so there's our outline piece, and I'm going to write on here. Okay, so that all that remains is to take my piece and put it into, <laughs> if I can find it again, oh my goodness, I lose things in seconds here. Put it into its frame like so. And we'll add the cover back. And what a cute little gift for your friends, right? Clip those down. There we go. There we go. And it's your friends gang, right? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you go and watch the rest of my friends in Gina B. Aaron's Artist Gang. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.